Why aren't you using VS Code? Well, I'm on an ancient ThinkPad, and the fans start blaring whenever this garbage Electron app starts uh, doing its thing, taking up all my processing and my memory, all that stuff. I can't do it, okay? I need something better or something that's going to work. So I'm going to use Helix. It says it's a postmodern text editor, so... Oh man, it's a hipster text editor. Uh, I'm going to set up the autocomplete thing. This is going to be relevant for Mac, Linux, Windows, everyone, okay? And I'm doing this because I could use NeoVim, but that's such a pain to set up. Helix, it's set up right out of the box for the most part. Just a couple things to check. And yeah, if you're on a potato like me over here, like look at this. Uh, I got wind fetch. Look at this potato, okay? I'm over here, got like four or five gigabytes free for storage. I, I haven't swapped the drive out got like no RAM got a fourth gen Intel CPU it is what it is it's the the T uh, 450s it's a good machine but okay so we're doing this with a uh, package manager but before that if you're on Windows go ahead and install Python uh, if you're on Mac or Linux you already probably got it and then we could just go over to the release page for Helix, but we're not going to do that, okay? That's for the plebs. We're going to use a package manager, so people on the Mac, they're going to use Homebrew. Um, if you're on Linux, you already know your package manager, whether it's Pacman, Apt, or whatever. That installs the packages for us, okay? So fire up your Windows terminal if you're on Windows or whatever terminal you got going on. And on Windows, I'm just going to use Scoop. So if you paste this line in, paste this line in, do both of these over here, you're going to have Scoop on Windows. And then you can just go over here and be like, Scoop, install Helix. And that's H-E-L-I-X, Helix. So hit Enter. It's going to tell us we already got installed. So good. We got that set. Now going to head over to their LSP page and LSP it's just what people use now they got the correction -y thingies and all that so we could go ahead and just use this top one for uh, Pi LSP because if you use any other Python LSP we're gonna have to change the languages.toml file and I'm not doing a Toml file thingy in this video so just uh yeah, regular Python LSP ever, Pi LSP. We'll go ahead and just type in pip install. And now pip, that's actually going to be the package manager for Python. And then Python hyphen LSP hyphen server. And then it's going to be like, yeah, you got you got that one too. But It'll take a second because it's Python. So now what we can do, I could either type in Helix all the way or just type in HX, hit enter, and boom, we're right inside of like a blank file. Now if we hit the I key, the I for insert, that's going to let us go ahead and type in text up here so we can just hit enter, go around here. You can actually use the arrow keys which is kind of nice, like in Vim it's all about the H, uh, J, K, L keys which you can still use so if you hit I to go into insert mode it has INS right here and then if we hit escape you hit escape you're in normal mode and it's gonna have a nice little NOR down here for normal mode so from here I'm gonna go ahead and exit out so hold down shift and do a colon that's gonna give you this little menu here you start typing stuff stuff comes up we're gonna type a Q in and then we're just gonna quit with a exclamation point it tells you the, the little thing up here too so boom we're out of it 
what I'm gonna do here though is um we're gonna test out that uh, that server we installed so we're gonna do HX hi uh, dash dash health and then after that we're just gonna type in Python that's gonna tell us what our um, LSP server is doing here if it's good and we've got it set for highlight queries text object queries indent queries don't really care about the debug adapter or the configured formatter just these three in the bottom right here and if we want to too if we take out this Python thing and just do HX dash dash health that's just gonna give us all of our language servers so let me close out of that so just gonna do HX and then we're gonna do a space and type in new dot py this is gonna go and create a new uh, Python file in whatever directory we're in right now we're on the desktop so hit that and boom we're in a Python file and so hit I to go into insert mode and then from here if you type in like uh, say like print it's gonna show up with all this crap here that's what we want we want that crap do um, a print do some uh, quotations and boom we got this little thingy right here telling us about stuff hold down control and then D's in down because we're going down control D it moves a little scroll bar on the right hand side here control D control U moves it up control D control U all that crap so even if you got it like zoomed in like I do like a crazy person it still works so uh, you know what, let's uh, put something in there. Then, what we're going to do is we could either do a um, colon, oh wait, hit escape. Because we're still in insert mode. So, you do escape, you're in normal mode. Do that uh, control colon, or sorry, shift colon. And then, we could either do like quit without the exclamation point or we can just do a um, type in a W type in write and then boom you can just write this over here and then that's gonna be it's gonna be like oh look stuff was written and then we can just go over here I'm gonna add a new terminal instance so in Windows terminal it's uh, alt shift and then plus, so that's alt, shift, and plus. Got this little split window here. A CD over to desktop. And then, please type in python new.py. And that, it's gonna give us our ass we can. So, there you go. And then we X out of that. And then boom, yeah, anything you need there, just shift, with the colon you do the colon rolling and then you may also want to have the wrap text on so we're gonna type in options it gives us set options so we just hit tab right there then once you know that's what you want you do a space and then start typing in wrap and then we're gonna do the tab again tab 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 you know what tabbed a little bit too much there so we're actually gonna tab okay what, what we got here just gonna type in wrap and we're gonna wanna have you know what soft wrap there we go soft hyphen wrap dot enable right there type in space put in true and now we've got this beautiful set hyphen option soft wrap wrap soft hyphen wrap there we go enable true enter and then boom now we can do this stupid stuff you shouldn't need but if you're like me oh there we go look got ourselves a little arrow so 
I mean, text wrap isn't everyone's thing, but I generally need text wrap, okay? So, got that set, you know how to write stuff out, you know how to quit. So, you Q, exclamation point. But what we're gonna do here, it's gonna be a little bit more important. We're gonna do tutor, tab, enter, boom. You got the tutor, and if you go down, this is gonna show you exactly how to use this uh, this editor. So have fun, you know. It, it's uh, sort of like Vim, not a hundred percent like Vim and it's easy to set up out of the box.